I was just here doing a C-section about 2.30 this morning and now I guess it's a little after 2.30, so a little over 12 hours later, here we are again. Day in the life of the average OBGYN. All right, thanks guys. Yep. About how many days are you at the hospital then? Probably 365 days a year, pretty much. Unless I go on vacation. I should probably do that more often, my wife says. Got your board, you know, guys here, making sure patients eat 24-7. If you need an ASAP, y'all know who to call. 44474. That's one of the numbers. You know, nutrition services, baby. Love my job. This kind of front portion here is gonna be like a, a foyer, just like an entryway. If you can see the blue line on the floor, that's gonna be the Fertility Institute. Then what you see here in the orange, these will be like patient rooms, um, exam rooms. We've got mammography down here to the left. I know how much Kristen, <laughs> and, how much Kristen enjoys being on camera. <laughs> When Kelly's went out of business, immediately I started contemplating the idea of having an office here with the proximity to the hospital being, I don't know, what is that, a couple hundred yards away at the most? The, the location was just prime. Not only for the proximity of the hospital, but being on the corner of Pennsylvania and Washington Street with so much traffic that goes by this area, it was just too good to pass up. I'm excited, there, there's so much going on here on the west side. There have been several new businesses that have opened. Just a great place to be able to come put a new business in because the west side is really um, being revitalized at this point. As you guys can see, we have a lot going on here in the building, especially here on the second floor. Hopefully, um, we'll have a lot more to show you next month. Right now, I'm getting ready to head back to the hospital, have a few things to wrap up over there. So I have a lady in labor, so we'll see you guys again next month.